And we all know Jazz Fest is full of cultural immersion as well as all of those amazing artisans that have special photos to trinkets. Yep, and it's going to be a lot of vendors out here. One vendor has been here for over three decades and is very, very popular. In the French market, in the middle of the food court, is a kiosk full of trinkets and handmade jewelry. The man behind this gym, Oscar Donahue. I always had that, that burning passion, the desire to literally be an artist, and it didn't happen until I came to New Orleans. Now this all started as an accident for Oscar. He came to New Orleans to work for a nonprofit, but a few months later, the organization folded. My mother came down and we uh, had a couple of days together. We came to this market and she said, son, why don't you start drawing portraits out here? So I took that and ran with it. Because of his work, many called him Oscar the portrait artist. This is the base. And of the base, I'm going to make some extremely dramatic earrings just for show, just for fun. But Oscar wanted to do more. So he taught himself how to make this creative jewelry and the rest is history. My number one customer is a, a lady in Arkansas, she has over 200 pieces. His work is also known globally. I love my Italian friends, my French customers, my customers from Japan and uh, worldwide. I don't think there's a place uh, all over Europe. So it, it really is an amazing experience. This will be Oscar's 33rd year as a vendor at Jazz Fest. His work is highly visible, not only at his kiosk, but also on the patrons who adorn them. At the Jazz Fest, there's a few dozen people that run around wearing hats with, adorned with all of my pins, and uh, it triggers a feeding frenzy. And hundreds flock to his booth to get their hands on these custom-made trinkets. Three jazzy crawfish, <laughs> of course you're going to like that. I like that. For Oscar and tons of other vendors, it's great business, but it's also about more than that. For me, I'm so surrounded by love and people that are coming to me telling me how much they love my work that it, it almost gets emotional.